Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I hereby open the ceremony for the signing of the agreement. I should like to ask the President of the Confederation, Mr. Kurt Vogler, to make his statement. Mr. President, Mr. General Secretary, during the night, you requested that I come and open this meeting, which marks the close of your meeting in Geneva. I'm doing so as the representative of the host country. a country which, like all other countries, is concerned that better understanding between you be established. You didn't want to leave Geneva without signing, the two of you, a document which would record the results of your talks. This ceremony is then your own ceremony. And this is why, Mr. President and Mr. General Secretary, I should like to say quite simply to you that our hopes, our thoughts, and our wishes for encouragement will always be with you throughout your sincere endeavors to establish just and lasting peace. I should now like to give the floor to His Excellency, the General Secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party, of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. You've already been handed the joint statement. Мы с президентом. The president and I. Проделали большую работу. Have done a huge amount of work. Обстоятельно. We've gone into great detail. Углубленно. We've really done it in depth. Со всей прямотой и откровенностью. And we've done it totally openly and frankly. Мы обсудили ряд крупнейших проблем. We've discussed several most important issues. Отношений между нашими странами и современного положения. And the situation in the world in general today. Problems, решения которых теснейшим образом затрагивают интересы наших народов. The solving of which, in in the most concrete way, is of concern both to our countries and to the peoples of other countries in the world. Исходя из подтвержденного. We discussed these issues. Обеими сторонами намерения улучшить отношения содействовать уменьшению угрозы ядерной войны. Help to decrease the threat of nuclear war. We must not allow the arms race to move off on into space, and we must cut it down on Earth. It goes without saying that discussions of these sort we consider to be very useful. And in its results, you'll find a clear reflection. Of, uh, of what the two sides have agreed together. We have to be realistic 
Решение важнейших вопросов, связанных с задачей прекращения гонки вооружений и укрепления Между нами продолжает оставаться крупные разногласия so по принципиальным Однако мы с президентом условились. Have agreed что работа по поиску взаимоприемлемых решений этих важнейших вопросов будет настойчиво продолжена здесь, в Женеве, нашими представителями. Предстоят, предстоят и поиски новых форм развития двусторонних советско-американских отношений. Предстоят также дальнейшие консультации по ряду региональных проблем, по которым наши позиции в большинстве случаев совершенно различны. Все это мы считаем, а именно предстоящие обсуждения полезны. To be very, very useful. Но действительно значение всего, But о чем мы с президентом условили, может проявиться лишь в конкретных практических делах. Если мы по-настоящему хотим чего-то добиться, really обеим сторонам необходимо проделать большую работу в духе принятого нами совместного In the spirit заявления. Of the joint commission, which we, the joint Хочу в этой связи заявить, что Советский Союз со своей стороны будет прилагать все усилия, we'll can, чтобы в сотрудничестве с Соединенными Штатами Америки добиваться практического решения задач свертывания гонки вооружений, сокращение накопленных арсеналов, обеспечение условий для прочного мира между нашими народами, надежного мира на Земле и в космосе. Мы заявляем это с полным сознанием своей ответственности перед собственным народом и другими народами мира. И очень хотели бы рассчитывать And на такой же ответственный подход со стороны администрации Соединенных Штатов Америки. Тогда работа, If проделанная в эти дни в Женеве, не будет напрасной. Хочется в заключении искренне поблагодарить правительство Швейцарии за созданные им условия для нашей работы. Благодарю за внимание. I should now like to give the floor to His Excellency, the President of the United States of America. Thank you. President Fergler, General Secretary Gorbachev, may I express Nancy and my deep personal appreciation and that of all Americans to the people of Switzerland for welcoming us so warmly and preparing the foundations for productive discussions. Yours is a long and honorable tradition of promoting international peace and understanding. You should take pride in being the capital for international discussions. So again, to the government of Switzerland and to the citizens of Geneva, many, many thanks. We've packed a lot into the last two days. I came to Geneva to seek a fresh start in relations between the United States and the Soviet Union, and we have done this. General Secretary Gorbachev and I have held comprehensive discussions covering all elements of our relationship. I'm convinced that we are heading in the right direction. We've reached some useful interim results, which are described in the joint statement that is being issued this morning. In agreeing to accelerate the work of our nuclear arms negotiators, Mr. Gorbachev and I have addressed our common responsibility to strengthen peace. I believe that we have established a process for more intensive contacts between the United States and the Soviet Union. 
These two days of talks should inject a certain momentum into our work on the issues between us, a momentum we can continue at the meeting that we have agreed on for next year. Before coming to Geneva, I spoke often of the need to build confidence in our dealings with each other. Frank and forthright conversations at the summit are part of this process. But I'm certain General Secretary Gorbachev and would agree that real confidence in each other must be built on deeds, not simply words. This is the thought that ties together all the proposals that the United States has put on the table in the past, and this is the criteria by which our meetings will be judged in the future. The real report card on Geneva will not come in for months or even years, but we know the questions that must be answered. Will we join together in sharply reducing offensive nuclear arms and moving to non-nuclear defensive strengths or systems to make, our, make this a safer world? Will we join together to help bring about a peaceful resolution of conflicts in Asia, Africa, and Central America so that the peoples there can freely determine their own destiny without outside interference? Will the cause of liberty be advanced? And will the treaties and agreements signed, past and future, be fulfilled? The people of America, the Soviet Union, and throughout the world are ready to answer yes. I leave Geneva today and our fireside summit determined to pursue every opportunity to build a safer world of peace and freedom. There's hard work ahead, but we are ready for it. General Secretary Gorbachev, we ask you to join us in getting the job done as I'm sure you will. Thank you. It is now my honor to invite His Excellency, the Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, and His Excellency, the Secretary of State for the United States of America, to come to the Wallstrom.
to declare close. I hereby adjourn the meeting for the signing of the agreement.